Philippine National Penitentiary housing thousands of inmates convicted for high crimes. Among these thousands are dozens of drug lords and crime kingpins. We speak today to the one person trusted to watch over all of them, Bureau of Corrections Chief and former Top Cop, Director General Ronald Bato de la Rosa. First, to start off, sir, how is the adjustment from the PNP to Bucor? Well, uh, malaki. Malaki mm-hmm. adjustment. Eh, iba yung environment. Mm-hmm. Iba yung requirement, yung demands ng job. Mm-hmm. Uh, saka, iba yung, iba yung, uh, maraming, ma, 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 maraming, ang, pag, ang pagkapariwa lang niya is, naka-uniform naka pa rin ako ng four-star four general. Mm-hmm. So, naka-uniform pa rin. Mm-hmm. Uh, pero yung nga lang, uh, sa support, mukhang uh, mas uh, magandang support na PNP kaysa dito parang long uh, neglected itong bureau na ito. Mm-hmm. Parang napabayaan talaga. So, isa yan, nasa nakadagdag sa challenges no, na kinakaharap natin ngayon. What do you mean by sir na mahina yung support? Parang um, wala mababa yung moral? Ngayon, tumaas yung moral nila dahil uh, I have been motivating them to do their job. Uh, yung nga lang, yung sa, sa sabi ko na pag sa PNP, almost everything you need, nakukuha mo kagad kung ano mga kailangan mo for, especially for operational purposes. Uh-huh. Pero dito, masyadong Uh, mahirap, mahirap. Mahirap makuha yeah. yung budget din dito. Ayan, yeah, isa pa yan. Isa pa yan. Yung, mm-hmm. Wala akong gasolina. Abang, uh, one, akala ko, pag dupo ko dito, meron akong isyong gasolina para magamit ko sa aking mm-hmm. everyday na lakad. Eh, dito pala is bayaran ko daw muna at uh, ipaparipan ko later kung meron, ng, meron akong mga kwan. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. Mahirap yung reimbursement iba, dito. Iba, iba, oh, iba. Okay, sir. Nami-miss niyo ba, sir, yung police service? Yeah, nami-miss ko. I've been in that service for from uh, for uh, thir- 30 36 eight years, 38 years. 38 years. So what do you miss about it? Yung challenge. I love challenges. Kita ko yung, yung challenge na kinakailang mo talagang magtrabaho para ma-deliver mo yung mandate mo. Mm-hmm. Mm. Sa, dito ba, sir, sa New Bilibid? Wala bang challenge dito? Mm, ibang klaseng challenge dito. Anong pinagkaiba? Yung challenge mo is from within, not from without. From outside? Sa, pin, oh, sa PNP kasi, ang challenge mo doon is paano mo hanapin yung mga kriminal na hindi mo pa alam kung sino sila at nasaan sila, at paano mo sila makuha. Eh dito, ang criminal is pamu- ang kalaban mo pamu- din. Nandito na sa loob. Kilala mo na sila, andyan sila, at uh, hindi mo na kailangan kahanapin, andyan sila. Mahirap silang kapain, ganun. Makakapa mo man, makakapa mo, pero iba-iba yung ibang considerations, iba yung uh, considerations. Okay, sir. Ngayon, sir, uh, pinatayin kayo, sir, ng mista niyo, si Director General Oscar Albayalde. Mm. How would you evaluate his term as PNP chief so far? Kasi you're a bystander now of the PNP. So far, he's doing good. He's doing good. How okay. could you say that? Why? Well, he's been very effective. Uh, uh, policemen are not towing the line. Talagang towing the line sila at uh, hindi sila sasantuhin ni... Eh. o kaalbayal di pag sila yung nagluloko. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's doing the rounds. Uh, kagaya ng ginagawa ko noon na talagang in order to afflict the moral of your men, you have to be to go uh, as close as you get mm-hmm. to them. Okay, sir. Ano sir yung biggest differences between head, heading the PNP and this? View core. <laughs> PNP kasi napakalaki organization, di ba? 195,000 mm-hmm. yung hinahawakan mo. Dito, 2,400 na yung tao mo dito. Uh, in terms of scope, mababang-mababa yung scope dito. Mm-hmm. 
Rio nga lang lumaki yung problema dahil nga sa episode na pabayaan. What do you mean by napabayaan? Kanina niya po sa'yo na binabanggit yung napabayaan. Well, ito, lang, ito lang mga facilities dito. Gusto mong mahinto yung drug trade dito sa loob, bayusin mo yung facilities. Mm-hmm. Pag naayos mo yung facilities, then uh, half of the problem is solved. Mm-hmm. Paano mo i-classify, segregate kung wala kang lugar na hahatiran mm-hmm. ng mga tao niyan. Overcrowded masyado. Overcrowded. Overcongestion. Mm-hmm. Grabe. Uh, ang ideal lang dito, like, like dito sa maximum security compound, ideal population dapat is around 500 lang. Mm-hmm. And yet, umaabot tayo dito ng uh, more than 18,000. Uh, 5,000 ha? 5,000 dapat. 5,000, tapos naging 18,000 plus. Mm-hmm. So, grabe ang uh, congestion. Mm-hmm. So, paano mo sila i-classify? Paano mo sila ayusin kung wala kang may paglalagyan? Mm-hmm. Dahil punong-puno na. Yan sana sir, gusto ko itanong na kasunod mm. because believe it has a lot of problems but one of the biggest mm. is illegal drug trade. Mm. Yung pamumuno ng dro- droga mula sa loob. At ngayon na bagay sir na mahalaga yung facilities. Mm. That's one problem of the believe it. But, but what are the other problems of the believe it that you want to solve in terms of the drugs? Yung internal discipline ng uh, mga tao dito. Kailangan talaga dapat uh, hindi sila makukurap at hindi sila natatakot mm-hmm. magipaglaban ito sa mga nakakulong ng mga drug lord. Mm-hmm. So, they should exert their authority mm-hmm. and their moral uh, responsibilities over these uh, uh, PDLs, persons mm-hmm. deprived of uh, liberty. Okay, sir. Can you describe to us how grave is the problem inside Believe It Now? Ganun well, ka uh, hindi ko pa talaga tutalay na ka pa because uh, I'm just four, day, four days old, no? Mm-hmm. Four days pa lang ako dito. Handa akong kakapain. I will get to the bottom of it uh, uh, habang tumatagal ako dito. From the four days that you've been around, sir, anong nababasa niyo? Ah, from the four days, so far, wala pa ako nakita ang solusyon. Puro problema ang nakikita ko. Mm-hmm. Puro problema talaga. Anong problema, sir, yung pinaka nakakabagabag para sa inyo? Yung... Paano mo kontrolin itong mga drug lord na dito? Mm-hmm. First question is why? Why nag-proliferate pa rin yung mm-hmm. drug uh, trade mm-hmm. sa loob ng bilibid uh, despite uh, the fact that uh, nasa loob na sila, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, marami kayo kukonsider dyan. Mm-hmm. Paano sila ginagordyahan? At paano sila kakalusot yung mga transaksyon na gano'n? Mm-hmm. Again, it, it redounds to poor facility. So there are more questions than answers in your yeah, first four days? Yeah, more questions than answers. Mm-hmm. Masaya ba kayo, sir, na ganito ang sitwasyon ngayon sa Bilibid? Does it um, discourage you from taking <laughs> up on this position? <laughs> to, be, to be frank with you, hindi ako masaya. But I have to do this. I have to do this because... Uh, kailan tulungan natin itong ating uh, gobyerno. Lalo-lalo yung presidente natin na uh, gusto-gusto talaga niyang matapos yung problema sa droga dito. Okay, sir. So, kailangan talagang magtrabaho tayo. Okay, sir. Let's go to your policy, sir, in order to fight drugs inside Bilibe. Mm. Ano, sir, yung mga polisi na gusto niyong ipatupad ngayon at kayo nasa loob na? Kasi dati naman, sir, you've observed Believe It from being PNP chief and I'm mm. sure you have intelli- intelligence, you have information about things that are happening inside Believe It. Now that you're inside, what do you want to change? Alam mo, lahat ng policy or programs na gusto kong mabago dito sa loob is uh, would entail uh, budget. So kung wala tayong pera, uh, mahirapan tayong mag-institute ng reforms and changes. Mm-hmm. Kaya lahat ng iniisip ko, saan ako hanap ng budget? Ang gastos nito. But setting aside Pag- budget, sir, if you had the budget and I'm uh, I'm confident na parang you have the support if, of the president. I have the budget? Yeah, if you have the budget. Finish. What no more problem. You do, what will you do with the pro- with the with the budget, sir? Ano yung reforms na ipapatupad niyo? Ayusin ko itong facility na ito. Facilities talaga, mm-hmm. sir. Facilities talaga. 
Bakit sir? Maximum, okay lang ah. Like uh, for example, gagawa ka ng visiting area na mm -hmm. maximum sa maximum compound, di ba? Mm -hmm. Visiting area na nasa glass may divided by glass. So, Usap sila by phone. By phone yung bisita at saka yung uh, maximum uh, PDL. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, usap lang sila. Hawak sila ng kamay, may glass in between ng dalawang kamay nila. Mm -hmm. so, paano pa maipasok yung mga kontrabando? Pag ganun. Mm -hmm. Aside from that, sir, so may visiting area na separated yung visitors at saka yung uh, maximum DPLs. Ano meron ba yun akong, ba, sir? Meron akong uh, flexibility kung saan ko, paano ko isegregate yung mga tao na ito. So meron ako dapat mga bakanting buildings mm -hmm. na ito, lahat ng mga Chinese drug lords dito, pa. Mm -hmm. Lahat ng Filipino drug lords doon, pa. Mm -hmm. Dapat walang contact between them. Hindi sila pwede mag-usap. Paghihiwalayin niyo, sir, yung Filipino at saka Chinese drug lords. Mm -hmm. Hiwalay. Mm -hmm. Isa yan sa plano ko. Mm -hmm. Tingnan natin kung makapagnegosyo pa kayo ng droga dahil alam natin na yung mga Chinese drug lords, sila yung may contact doon sa China para mag-order ng shabo. Mm -hmm. Pagdating dito, ito mga Filipino drug lords naman ang insert sa distribution. Mm -hmm. So, kung mahiwala mo ito sila, hindi sila makapag-communicate Walang trading. There's no trading. Okay. Ano pa, sir? Iwalay ko yan. Iwalay. Mm -hmm. uh, yung mga... Sir? Sa ngayon kasi, yung uh, mess hall na ginagamit sa pagluluto uh, ng pagkain, nasa loob. Nasa loob ng detention mismo. Mm -hmm. Gusto ko ilabas yan. Sa labas sila magluto, di na ipapasok pagkain na. Why? Hindi yung pumapasok yung... Ingredients. Pumapasok yung mga ingredients, bigas, firewood, tubig, labas-pasok dyan sa facility na yan. Mm -mm. What if kung magkakaroon ng riot, yung mga sundang, yung mga kutsilyo ang ginagamit pag slice ng mm -mm. karne doon, pwede gamitin yun, mm -mm. magkipag-riot, di ba? Pati dun sa raw goods, may ini-smuggle ng mga drugs ba, sir? Or ano? cellphones na si ini-smuggle from that? Pwede, pwede. Pwede naman. Isang sakong bigas, mm -mm. kausapin mo. Ikaw ay gusto magpapasok, pwede mong kausapin yung pag-deliver mm -mm. na Pakisaksak mo itong isang kilong mm -hmm. drugs din sa sako. Mm -hmm. bigas. Lusot na. Mm -hmm. Isa pang facility, sir, na parang binabangit yung dati ng PNP chief ka, yung meron daanan sa likod, kung saan binabat, binabato na lang yung cellphone papasok sa... Yan nga, ipakundim. Gusto ko na ipakundim yung kasalan yan. Mm -hmm. Ay, hindi ba totally ipakundim, kundi mm -hmm. ilimit ang access na hindi na pwede ma-access ng general public. Mm -hmm. Dapat ang maka-access dyan yung mga gwardiya lang namin. Mm -hmm. Pwede mag... Kuhan dyan. Ngayon eh, ginagamit kasi. Okay. Dahil doon sa NHA na ginagawa doon sa likod, mm -hmm. ang access nila from their village to the... to the poblasyon ng Montinlupa is yung via that road. Mm -hmm. Yung gilid ng maximum. Mm -hmm. eh, ang pang uh, reklamo ng mga gwardiya dyan is every morning pag mag... Uh, Mag-check up sila sa perimeter uh, inside, yeah. the perimeter wall. May nakikita sila doon mga cellphone, mga, mga kontraman, yeah, sigarilyo, mga alak na tinatapon mm -hmm. from the outside. Mm -hmm. So, hindi muna yung pwedeng bawalan dahil may dumadaan naman, di ba? Mm -hmm. Dapat mag-maximum, maximum talaga, maximum security. Uh -huh. Restricted area yung gilid ng wall, wala mm -hmm. makalapit. Okay. At pag may lumapit yan, pwede mo barilin, barilin ang gwardiya pag may lumapit yan. Dahil, mm -hmm. Dapat, kanya ni eh. uh -huh. uh, Maximum security nga. Okay. Walang papasok niya, walang didikit niya kung walang plano uh -huh. gagawin masama. So for facilities, sir, gusto niyo paghiwahiwalay niyo mga Filipino and Chinese drug mm -hmm. lords, um, separation ng visitors at saka sa mga maximum at saka mm -hmm. yung, yung paved path sa likod o sa gilid ng bilibid. May iba pa ba kayo, sir, na gustong uh, improve na facilities sa loob? So far. Yan, uh, para, yan lang muna. At uh, additional building nga. Building. Additional building. Kasi congested kayo. Congested talaga. Okay, sir. Hindi um, mo man talagang mapapasunod yung tao sa palisi na gusto mo kung wala sila, they are not in the right uh, frame of mind na gulo-gulo yung mm -hmm. isip nila. Psychologically, kung ano sila, uh, disturbed. Mm -hmm. Dahil yung buhay nila, ang hirap ng buhay nila. So kung maganda yung buhay nila, madali lang sila sumunod. Okay, sir. Sa mga palisi na gusto mong ipapatupad. Lalong-lalo na yung reformation program nila, mm -hmm. yung mga rehabilitation program nila. Mm -hmm. 
Kaya nga, this is Bureau of Corrections, di ba? We have to correct their criminal minds, their criminal yes. ways, their criminal background, their criminal mm -hmm. history. Correct natin. Para paglabas nila, they will become useful citizens of the society. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. Aside from the facilities, the answer that's again for for solving illegal drugs. For what you mentioned earlier, problem from the inside then, or even inside the mucor, meron bang internal cleansing efforts? Meron, meron. Tandahan kung actually meron kami mga mucor personnel na kasama don sa drug watch list ni presidente. So inahanap ko yung mga tao niyan. Kailan niyan, sir? Around 20, masiguro. 20, 20. Ah? 25. Ano, sir, yung policy natin for internal cleansing sa BUCOR? Are we going to use the same as the PNPs na magkakaroon rin ng counter-intel sa loob ng BUCOR? Dapat. Ganun talaga. Mag Meron na ba, sir? Wala pa kong ginawa, pero may mga tao na akong tinas. Na magkakaunter-intel? Na counter oh. Okay. Are they policemen? Or are they from inside Bilibid then? Mm, combination. combination. Combination of operatives of the PNP mm. and the BUCOR. Mm, combination. Okay, sir. Other solutions are for illegal drugs. So far, yun lang. Yun muna ang nakikita ko. Raid, sir. Medjid. Oh. Huh? Raid, sir. Illegal drug raid. Oh, Do they still uh, work? Oh, sige man, sige naman ang kanilang kuhan dito. Anytime lang, magpapa-announce, magpapa-conduct naman ako ng galugad. Mm -hmm. Surprise lang, surprise. Ang usual problems kasi sir, um, based from our talks with operatives, is parang alam na ng mga tao sa loob. When Yun nga, kaya, do hindi ko din discuss yan kung kailan at gagawin ko ba o hindi. Eh, hindi ko din discuss basta... Paano nakakarating uh, sir sa mga inmates na magkakaroon ng surprise inspection? Uh, may kunaiba sa mga gwardiya. May mga advance notice sa kanila doon na Mag-read kami, magkakandak kami ng search bukas. So, mm -hmm. ayusan yung mga itago na yung dapat itago. Mm -hmm. Most likely, may mga ganun. Okay, sir. Uh, sir hopefully, hindi naman ganun kalala. Mm -hmm. Sir, from your time, four days being inside uh, the Bucor, has anyone tried to threaten you? Wala. <laughs> Or your family? Wala pa. Wala, wala pa. Wala pa. Are Alam naman, uh, they, they know that hindi na ako matitreaten. I will be the one to threaten them. Wala pa uh, talaga. Sir. Wala pa, wala pa wala Anong threat niyo sir sa kanila or what is uh, your warning? Mag-ayos ayos kayo. Kung hindi kayo mag-ayos, then aayusin ko kayo. Hmm. Yun lang. Do you have any marching orders for the people inside the Bilibid or from for the personnel of Bucor? Ah, sa sa explosion ng Bucor, they uh, they were already forewarned na talagang lilinisin ko ito kung meron mang dapat linisin. So, they know what to do. Alam na nila yun. Mm -hmm. kalaki, sir, yung ano, counter-intelligence group na binuo nyo? Is it a dozen? 25? Uh, hindi, hindi ako mag... Uh, hindi. Ah, yes, hindi. Counter-intelligence nga eh. You don't want Maka counter yung ating counter pag uh, sabihin natin kung gaano kadami, gaano mm -hmm. kalaki. But you can assure people that this counter-intelligence group is working? Basta, no more further discussion regarding that. Basta, okay. meron akong ginagawa. Meron, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. Will you be changing top posts within the view core? Will you be appointing more of your mistas, your classmates from the day to day, day to day decision making? Kuya, ginagawa. Day to day yung aking assessment, day to day yung evaluation, day to day rin yung aking decision making kung paano ko gawin. So as it happens, sir. As it happens, observan ko lang mo na. Okay, sir. Kasi baka mamaya pa makinig lang tayo, makinig sa mga report from some people. Eh, baka mamaya, alam mo na. Magsisiraan, sir. Magsisiraan. So, you have to, you have, to have a first-hand uh, information about that uh, issue para okay. hindi magkakamali ang decision mo. Okay, sir. Have you spoken to Secretary of Justice, Menardo Guevara, sir? Hindi pa. Bukas, mag-usap kami. Mag-report ako sa kanya bukas. Okay, sir. What would you tell him? Problema. <laughs> problema sa loob problema, ng Bilibid. Problema. Dami problema. Si, ano sir, Pangulo, President Duterte, does he have marching orders for you? Uh, yun lang naman yung marching orders sa akin. Linisin ko yung Biocor. Tapos may stop yung problema sa droga. Okay, sir. I wanted to go to the other problems of Pilibid, sir. We're done with drugs. Now, sir, a proposal that was raised time and time again to Biocor is the proposal to uh, transfer to Nueva Ecija. As a very tall order, matagal yan. Hindi, nga, hindi talaga na gawa ng previous administration yan. Plano yan nila noon pa. Pero multi-billion na project yan. Yung mga mega facility na gano'n. 
and uh, it will not be earning uh, nan nan hindi man yan hindi kikita ang gobyerno diyan kundi talagang so what is your position sir ha? your position on this oh ako, ako gusto ko talaga magawa ng mega facility, facility na mm-hmm. brand new solve ng problema ko wala lang problema pag uh, naayos ko yan na so you support ko. this ha you support this yeah i support it you want it to happen within your term in as much as I want it to happen, but uh, I don't believe it will happen. Malabo. Yun nga, hindi nga kaya sa gobyerno. Sa Malaking gasto. Talaga. Okay, sir. Um, another problem, sir, is personal management. Recruitment ba, sir? Kaya kulang tayo sa guards? Kulang. Kulang ba? Kulang what is our guard? plan to um, increase the, the recruitment of guards and Dap- officers? Dapat inside. mag-effect na yung... Uh, increase salary increase namin based on the uh, biocor modernization uh, mm-hmm. law uh, which was approved by DBM uh, effective 15 March, March sa ngayon hindi pa natanggap so hindi pa masyado na na feel mm-hmm. ng mga tao yung modernization niyan mm-hmm. but once na implement na yan talagang natatanggap na ng mga biocor uh, personnel yung increase na yan mm-hmm. so it will entice uh, more uh, applicants to become uh, corrections officers. Mm-hmm. So, hopefully, ma... ma, impli- ma tumaas. Hindi, uh, tumaas naman. Oh, pero hindi pa nga naibibigay. Mm-hmm. Sana may ibibigay na. Saan yung sir yung bottleneck? Saan tumitigil at saka nagpapakatagal? Ay, hindi ako masyado magaling dyan sa budgeting at saka <laughs> sa pagdating dyan sa mga ganun bagay. Basta ako, pag may dumating, kapat ang dyan na. Okay, sir. Mm-hmm. Training naman, sir. Are you in favor of a corrections academy? Yeah. In order to professionalize the Bureau of Corrections, kailangan talaga meron tayong ganun. Mm-hmm. Like, just like PNPA, mm-hmm. just like PMA, uh, kailangan natin yan to professionalize. professionalize. Okay, sir. Do you also see that happening under your term as BU Corps Chief? Siguro, pwede masisimulan ko. Pero yung facility, uh, dahan-dahan gagawin, pero yung pag-create, ng working uh, mm-hmm. group, masisimulan ko. Meron na ba, Sir Draft? Meron kami existing na uh, training uh, division dito, mm-hmm. uh, training uh, section, training division. Mm-hmm. Uh, y- 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 ganun lang, ipapalakihin lang yun at palalakasin. Okay, Sir. Let's go to the problem naman, Sir, na paulit-ulit yung binabanggit. Budget. Budget? Bakit, Sir, hindi nabibigyan ang BUCOR sa budget? I don't know. I don't know. I will find out. Sa Congress, sir, wala pa kayo nakakausap na congressman tungkol sa pagbibigay ng budget wala sa Wala pa. Alamin ko muna dito. From our, uh, from our end, mm-hmm. saka ako hingi ng tulong doon kung paano ako gagawin. Okay, sir. So, masalimuot hindi... kasi, masalimuot yung budget pagdating sa budget. Okay, sir. Bakit, sir, parang hindi nyo pa naman sila nakakausap but you're already concluding na wala kayong budget? Wala man talaga. <laughs> no, I mean for future, sir, kung humihingi kayo. Oo. Yung nga, eh, lalakarin namin, ayusin namin yan. Okay, sir. Laws you want to be passed, sir. Death penalty. Mm. You approve of it? Death penalty. Bakit, sir? Para, yung mga convicted drug lords, sino pa pabantayan namin dito sa Building 14 kung pagka-convict nila, diretsyo na lethal injection. Di ba? Wala na kami pabantayan na drug lord. Pero, sir, diretsyo na lethal injection. So, mm-hmm. At saka doon naman sa mga would-be uh, criminals, magiging deterrence yan. Mm-hmm. Siyempre, no, oo. Power pole rin na drug lord, maraming pera. Mm-hmm. Namatay nga sa, kuhan? Mm-hmm. Namatay sa lethal injection or sa electrocution. Mm-hmm. Sa answer yung ano, death penalty for illegal possession, illegal trading? Ako, ah, basta lahat na pertaining to drugs, dapat tapusin yan. Eh, gusto mo natin talaga matapos yung drugs. Kahit konti na yung ka- dala nilang droga, sir? Oh, ganun dapat kay stricto. Dapat ganun kay stricto pagdating sa drugs. Mm-hmm. Oh. Hindi Para, na sir sila makokorek. Ha? Rehab. Uh, depende nga sa batas na gagawin nila. Kung hmm. ako ba sa drugs, dapat... dapat Diretso na sa lethal injection? Hmm. Oo, oh, kung, kung ako masusunod, ha? Mm-hmm. Pero meron man yan. Hindi man, man ako gagawa ng batas. Sila man ang Senado man, Congress. Senado at Congress, sir. Mm-hmm. 
another thing that you raised sir in one of your interviews is banning ano na? yung isa pa sir na raised nyo is banning prepaid cell phones in the Philippines oh, 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 for security pa, um, ako, wala lang para prepaid puro postpaid na lang bakit? para matrace talaga kung sino ang kaninong number yan mm-hmm. mm. at saka ikaw alam mo postpaid yung cell phone mo gagawi, gagamitin mo sa criminal activities eh, hindi mo gagamitin mm-hmm. so that's one 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 technology less for the criminals to use. Okay, sir. Mm. Speaking of laws, sir, you mentioned in another interview na gusto niyong tumakbo sa Senate. Kamusta, sir, yun? Depende. Depende nga kung... Depende sa decision, Presidente. What I wanted to ask, sir, is why do you want to run for Senate? Makatulong. Sa taong ba yan? By making laws. Yan lang. And one of those is yung mga Ayun. mention yun din kanina, sir. Mm-mm. You want death penalty for Mm-mm. drugs. Mm-mm. And uh, ano to sa prepaid Mm-mm. and postpaid. Okay. National ID system. Dagdag mo pa dyan. National ID system. That's tayo right. lang. Tayo lang ang bansa dito sa Southeast Asia na walang ID system. Eh. Diba? Lahat sila meron. Kaya mababa yung kanilang criminality. Mm-hmm. Tayo dito. Ang hirap hanapin kung sinong criminal. Mm-hmm. Eh, do- doon sa kanila. Ang dali lang. Dahil meron ng data database kung sino yung may ganyan na kwan identified talaga para an- so you're pushing for a platform of public safety mm. uh, public security if you're going to run public safety and security okay sir uh-huh. the conversation has been uh, from your past interviews again sir is it's either senator or governor so you're sure that you're going to run this coming elections yes Tatap- either or either or lang pero depende nga kay presidente say absent Mm-hmm. Sabihin niya na huwag kang tumakbo. Patuloy ko lang siya sa view ko. Relinisin mo muna. So, who am I to 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 decline or mm-hmm. to oppose? Mm-hmm. Ang malaking utang na loob ko sa akin, okay. Presidente. So, itatakbo kayo, sir? Kung gusto ni Presidente. President pa rin ang bahala mm-hmm. kung tatakbo kayo mm-hmm. or hindi. But if it were up to you, you would run. Kung ako mag-decide, mm-hmm. and mahirap mo mag-decide sa sarili ko dahil uh, mahirap yung politics na yan kung wala ka kagkampi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You will run if you are backed yeah. by a political party. Yeah. Does it have to be the president's political party, PDP Laban? Uh, not necessarily as a particular party. Basta may blessings lang kay Presidente. Why is it so important sir, may blessing ni President? Uh, y- y- yun lang, yun lang ang sa akin. Everything I decide is uh, with his blessing dapat. Okay, sir. Mm-hmm. Um, last question ko na to, sir. What is the legacy that you want to leave behind the Bureau of Corrections? Wala yung drug trading dito sa loob ng Bilibid. Mm-hmm. Yun lang. How do you plan to do that? Follow up, sir. Secret. Bakit secret? Secret lang. Kaya sabihin ko sa inyo lahat eh, alam lang nila kung paano ko gagawin. Hindi ko sabihin. Okay. So Akin yung plan, yun. sir, it's, go, it's still going to be announced yung plan nyo, Dan? Ah, uh, hindi ko i-announce yan. Well, uh, malaman nila. Covert. Basta hintayin lang ninyo na magsabi yung, magsabi yung mga tao na wala na. Wala na. Tapos na. Last follow-up, sir. Will hmm. there be an op-plan that ano? you will implement sa Bucor? Wala. Walang op-plan-op-plan dito. Basta tapusin ko itong problema na ito. Trabaho lang talaga. Hmm, trabahoin ko lang. Dapat trabahoin. Ayusin ang dapat ayusin. Alisin ang dapat alisin. Palitan ang dapat palitan. Okay, sir. Diba? With that, sir, we wish you the best. Thank you. Okay. That has been Bureau of Corrections Chief Director General Ronald Bato de la Rosa. I'm Rambo Talabong. This is Rappler Talk. Thank you for watching. Hello and welcome. I'm Rambo Talabo.